I called the dealership yesterday to see if they got a baler on the lot that I'm kind of curious to looking at. So it's 8.20 in the morning and we're heading over to, we're in Northeast Nebraska now. We're heading over to Iowa to go look at a round baler. So let's see what we can find. Well, we're here at the John Deere store. Time to stop and take a look at the baler. There's a lot of inventory up here. Looking at some different balers here. Kind of looked at a couple. Came up here for one that thought I was gonna pull home, but didn't quite care for it. How just up a few things, but uh, we'll see once if we get one bought. Hi everybody. Sorry it's been a while since I've uh, recorded anything, but I got kind of some exciting news here. We got a little bit of a equipment update. So as you see there, we got the old 567 and uh, did a little shopping and we pulled out with a, uh, we got a new to us 560M John Deere round baler. Uh, this is a 2018 model. Uh, I actually went and looked at this in Sioux Center, Iowa which is about just under two hours away from where I'm at in Northeast Nebraska. And uh, I ended up purchasing it. And I actually went to go look at a 569. And when I was up there, I didn't quite like the way it looked. And this one happened to be up there. So I came home with this one. Um, so I'm in the tractor cab here. It's kind of windy out, so hopefully you can hear me a lot better. But yeah, that's like a 2001 model 567 Twiner net wrap. Um, it's got 21,000 bales on it. I was getting to that point to where I thought, if I want to keep doing this custom baling, maybe it's time to look at updating. The baler's bought and paid for. I don't owe any money on it. Um, I didn't trade it in. I just ended up buying this 560M outright. Um, you know... I didn't quite see, I didn't see what they would give me for it. I kind of knew about what I thought it'd be worth, but I do have it posted on Facebook Marketplace. I am thinking about doing a different video. If I can, um, if I put it on an auction company and it sells for, I thought maybe doing a giveaway on whoever does the closest amount to what it brings, maybe giving away something like a tool set or a sweatshirt or something like that. But uh, I, I do like this 560M. Uh, baling corn stocks it does seem like i can pick up speed a little bit more um the flotation tires are better that's a roller baffle right there that's that's worth its money right there so some guys might ask you know why why a deer baler um why not a vermeer a corn stock special or a new holland or whatever brand that you like um i'm about four or five miles away from town to where our dealership is so especially doing custom work if you can uh if you have a breakdown or something silly something major at least you can go in and get parts and then there is there's plenty of deer dealerships around to where if this one doesn't have it i can go to a different one um i know i used to have a new holland baler when i first started out I had a new holland br 780 new holland round baler and it was a good baler i bought it cheap uh the pickup completely grenaded and i didn't want to put money into it and after that i bought the 567 that you see here um, i ran this 567 for four years and now i've decided to go with this 560m so i think it's all personal preference once uh once you kind of figure out what brand you like and every brand's got its little inconveniences and bugs that happen or little glitches but once you figure out how to work around them it's they're pretty simple so so yeah, that was my exciting news and I thought I'd make a little video about updating this baler and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to uh, have some cord stock video, baling videos for you and uh, this winter I thought well, maybe we'll do some repair videos. There's a couple things on the baler we need to do um, and then uh, the tractor, I got a few things we need to do too. So yeah, um, thanks for watching.